Hyde Mars armor set is a pretty unique set because it's cursed. You actually find this when you get to one of the last maybe Dwarven shelters towards the west side of the map, but you can't really use it because it takes away your health, doesn't let you heal up, and you can't actually cure it until you get rid of all of the Yotun Blights. So I'm going to show you the complete guide. First, we need to go to the Hodder shelter, that shelter in the west. Head to the Dwarven section, and then there should be a little antechamber to the left hand side. And the armor is sitting there. So lovely, jubbly. It looks pretty cool like this. I actually prefer it in its tattered state. Well, maybe not tattered state, but you get the idea. It looks pretty cool even in this sort of ghostly appearance. The armor is particularly good because every time you do a critical hit, you're going to regain some health and you won't eat as much of your rations when healing as well. There's just one little issue. You need to actually have some of these runes equipped and applied to it. The Motsuganer's Clarity Rune, and you can only get these by clearing out the Jotun Blights. So wearing the armor without any of these runes means you're actually going to lose health every few seconds, and you'll also not be allowed to evade. So yeah, you're not really meant to wear this armor set until you go and get the rest of the runes. You can't buy these runes anywhere else. You will have to clear out the Blight. So the first one I'm going to show you is actually near the hideout where we just were in the west. It's pretty close by, you can't really miss it. It's just slightly to the north of the shelter and you pretty much come past it when you're looking for the entrance to this shelter. You will need the teleport special power but there will be chances to pick it up here as well as there's some bodies. But go ahead and shoot the first one which you'll find just across from the lake. Then we need to go and get a bit closer and then once we're there you can see the power of the Yotun is there if you need it. Then head through this alcove and you'll be able to see some of the teleport points in the trees. And we're actually going to be doubling back on ourselves. Remember, you've got to follow them in order. You can't just shoot every single one, no matter what. It's got to be in a certain order. And if you're having trouble, make sure you use your senses and it'll always show a white line going towards the next one. As you can see, when I teleported up here, it wasn't able to destroy it because it wasn't ready yet. I need to go and get the other ones first. So while you're up here, though, you do get a good eyeline sight of where the rest of them are. So teleport over to this tree, still with your power active. Do this on the quick and then look around you and hopefully you'll notice it just over to the left hand side. Go ahead and shoot that one and then actually turn to the right hand side, the opposite side, and you should find another target in the tree just across the way. Let's go ahead and take care of that one and then quickly, if you can, Obviously I ran out, but I had another power point anyway. Teleport to above the arch to get rid of that final one. So as I know, these runes don't actually apply to any other armor sets. I don't think there's any other curse sets so far. It does explicitly say when you've picked up the last one to put it inside this particular armor set. So don't worry about just putting it in. And you can always take it out, but it doesn't look like it's got any other uses for any other of the armor sets. It obviously is a bit of a bummer. It takes one of them slots. But it is a really powerful armor set, so it's definitely worth doing it. Now we're going to be going north just from the shelter that you probably come across first. And it's pretty simple, this one. Shoot these two points, and then we're going to go ahead and jump down to get a bit more of a better view and see where the others are. Again, making sure you click your senses, and you can follow the vapor trail to do the next one. And the final one is just up some steps and you should be able to get the rune next to it. Do remember that you've got to go and find the actual rune. It doesn't just be given to you automatically as soon as you've shot the last one. You have to go up to where the altar is to go ahead and take it from its plinth or whatever rock it's on. Do get a ton of frozen blood doing this as well. So that's good for your power upgrades if you've got enough silica and you want to increase the powers on that. Next we're up into Savaldal. This was actually the first one that I came across, just free roaming and exploring. It's down the side of a cliff, so you're going to need to clamber down a little bit, and then eventually you should find a Jotun's body on the steps. So again, if you need the power, which you might need for this one. Although it's not super essential, you will be able to climb even if you don't have this power somehow. But shoot the first one, and then keep going along. You see the second one on the right hand side just past that big stone and then the next one's on the left on top of this little cliff outcrop then the next one's actually behind the great big massive statue here so we're actually going to be going behind shooting it and we're nearly finished there's just one more to take care of it's down in the front just where we walk past so well on our way that is three of the rooms needed remember we need five of them and let's go and take a look at the next two the next one is in the same region it's just southeast of etra so the first one's just on the outsides of the actual summit and then there should be a big massive hole with some snow to cushion your fall as you drop down. Take care of that and then go ahead and start clambering up when you want to walk past it and there'll be one more on top of the cliff just above you as well. Take care of that one and then there should be another one following the trail 
and it should lead you to this ice wall which you can shoot through or hit with a melee weapon and then there you go the fourth and final one so if you've got other runes that are giving critical hits this is a really good combination to have you'll be able to take down big bosses and enemies pretty easily if you've got that right combination so the next one is in again another icy field area and we're going to be shooting it from up high here if you want to it's going to be close again in Svaldal and it's pretty much just northeast from this eagle vision point here so you can shoot this one from down here in fact you don't really have to go down other than quickly just to shoot the one that's in the water here and again i'm not too sure if the arrows would actually travel through it does give you some arrows right there but otherwise i jumped back into the water and then went ahead and just smashed it with my fists and then climbed back out you should be able to shoot the next one through the little icicles here otherwise just jump on top of this little thin bridge because that's where the next one is anyway and you can see the altar is just ahead of us and we're nearly done. Five of the Jotun Blights, or Jotun Blights to take care of. Five runes to go into our five brand new pieces of armor. The stats in it, as you would expect, are pretty good. Upgraded, you're going to be getting armor of 49 on the gauntlets. Then you can see we've got El Res 38, Weight 21, and Evade 30 or 34. And then anything between sort of 40 and maybe 50 HRES. So obviously I didn't have it all fully upgraded, but you do get to look at the cosmetic side of things. So more than likely you won't be hitting this until maybe the end of the game. Like I said, once time you've got to that third shelter, unless you've absolutely pinged it. But yeah, it does take a bit of time getting across all these areas to go and get the blights. So I would say go through the story and you'll pretty much pass all of these as the main beats anyway. And I don't know if the armor set is that amazing that you need to go and get it as soon as possible. But it's still nice to have as you get towards the end of the game. And there we go. Check out the rest of my guides and I'll see you for more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Dawn Ragnarok very soon. Bye bye.